Hey, Kathleen. Hey, Grant. What's your favorite color? Blue. Well, that is a preference. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the seller preferences that you have for your premium domain marketplace. Um, there's some really cool features in here that can that control uh, many aspects of your own premium domain marketplace. So let's jump in. The first thing is negotiation preferences. So somebody comes into Squad Help, they can start browsing and maybe they find a name they like and they might have some questions and they're going to pop up the 24 7 chat um, functionality maybe they'll give us a call and one of the most common questions is is there any price flexibility and that's where the negotiation preferences come in let me tell you what your choices are so the first thing you can say is um, all buyer offers are required by explicit approval. That means if somebody comes into Squad Help and asks about the price flexibility, we immediately reach out to you. What could be the downside of that option? Absolutely. So there's some pluses and, and minuses. One is if you if we reach out to you, you're in full control. Um, but it typically is not as fast. Again, we have 24 seven chat support and we're there. We have all the processes. If you're uh, sleeping, if you're um, you know, not there immediately, then the, the, the negotiation can be stalled and that can have an, an effect and maybe somebody will go and find a different domain, they'll, um, you know, they'll, they'll move on. So having that preference can move the process faster, um, through the process faster and, and even gives you a better sell through rate. Um, you also, you can set some limits to how much you know we can negotiate so you can actually just set an exact price max so you can tell us we can negotiate on your behalf 150 dollars um, or some there's various different prices that you can choose uh, or you can say squad help we we want you to negotiate on our behalf and we have a management team who's trained in this and is gonna you know push to make sure that we're gonna get get the best um, you know, the best possible price. We're not just going to jump to a low price. Of course, there's a, a real a negotiation process there. Um, so those are the three options. And when you, if you were ever to choose the the option to let Squad Home negotiate, just know that we wouldn't go any less than 25% without without talking to you. So we're not going to give big discounts. Um, so that's the first thing. Number two is going to be your discounts on autopilot. This is a pretty neat feature here. Um, there's, there's two things that you'll see. One is as you go into uh, the Squad Help Marketplace, if you're in the, what we call the all page, you're gonna see the discounts and they're going to kind of pop out and, and uh, they're in, in red. So it's one way to, to make your domain, some of your domains stand out. If you're on this page here and you're scrolling down, you're gonna see that the on sale names have their own section. Uh, so so there's, there's just some various ways that if you put a discount in place that those names might get caught and seen um, by, 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 different, uh, by different visitors. There's one other thing that's uh, important to note is that when you do put a discount on, people who were previously interested in that name are, are, we let them know. So it's a way to reach out to, to some of the past people who are interested in your names and to pull them back into the process. Um, and what autopilot means in this situation is that we're going to, uh, we're going to take a, a portion of your, uh, your domains and we're going to put discounts on them. So you don't have to go in manually and, and go through this process. We're going to do it for you. Um, it's a really great option again to, to get some additional eyeballs as well as to reach back out to, to some of the people who've shown interest in your specific domains. Uh, next, we're coming up on the exit intent offer. So now we're back into the, um, the sales page here. And what happens is if somebody comes out, not always have it, so, so it's, I'm not going to show it to you right now live, but if somebody tries to leave the page, there's going to be a pop-up that um, can offer them a discount. Why would somebody want to turn that on? This is a feature that works really well. If the we notice that that a, a customer is going to leave the site, we can try and keep them on and, and get them to buy that to that particular domain. So it's one way to kind of grab people who may be leaving and, and get some more sales. Um, and if if they're on for you, it'll it'll be selling your specific 
domain. So the typical discount on that is one or two hundred dollars, and then we're using you know we're using a lot of the tools to to make those decisions as to when that's going to to be shown. Um, and again, it's only specifically if it seems like somebody there's signs that somebody's going to leave the site. Um, it's not just going to pop up randomly or, or initially when somebody comes to view the domain. And there has to be a very specific signal that we really strongly think that they're they're going to. Um, exit. Well, that's why it's called exit intent. Submitting to the contest. This is one of my favorite features, really. Um, I think it's it's just very, very neat. If you come over here, you can see that right now Squad Help has 350 active contests. We're doing hundreds of naming projects uh, on the contest side every single month. And these clients are people who have not yet purchased a premium domain, but they have made an investment in getting a great domain. They've written a brief that tells you about their brand so you know information. Um, so you can you can reach people who have already indicated that they have a budget to get a great name and have given information about their individual brand with the, the most aligned and best premium domains. You can definitely do that with your with all your domains. But what this feature does is it allows you to do that with um, that allows other people to submit your domain. So you're opening up a whole other pool. Maybe you can't get into all the contests. You're you're allowing everybody else on the platform the ability to submit those domains um, to get extra eyeballs. Um, next concept is coins your account will be automatically um, started. The, the standard preference or the standard way that this is set up is to uh, require coins for submissions. We cover this in some other videos. I'm not gonna dig into it too deeply right here, um, but for each name you submit to premium, it's gonna cost a coin. And there's some really great benefits to this. You're gonna have lower selling commissions, faster review times, um, no submission limits, as well as um, we're going to partially waive the exclusivity requirements for your listings. In other words, you'll you can also list some of your 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 premium domains um, outside of Squad Hub platform, such as on Afternic. If you have a pre-existing portfolio and want to submit without coins, uh, we do have a way to turn that on. You would have to talk to our customer service team through the blue button. Um, and, and see if you're eligible and for, for that if you're interested. Uh, so, so again, your account will start requiring coins, but there is a way to, to uh, get to the point where you do not need coins and that preference will be in here if you set that up. Next are renewal preferences. Grant, can you kind of walk us through the three different options that we have? Absolutely, so the first thing to understand with renewal preferences, this is for a very specific type of domain. These are the domains that have re been registered on your behalf by Squad Hub. So the Squad Hub owned domains are only applicable here. Uh, so if you submit a name and you wanted it to be registered by Squad Hub and that was approved and we registered it, then you have these options. Um, when the renewal period or the time comes up, so that's typically the one year period, um, you can pay a $10 fee and keep the commission you're currently at, option one. Uh, option two, you can pay a $5 fee, 500 points, and um, keep the commissions that you were at for the previous year. Number three is you can pay nothing and we're going to drop the, or we're gonna, we're going to um, change the commission structure uh, and reducing your commission structure slightly. Last concept is the Cloud Broker Program. Uh, we have some nice articles about that. So if you wanna dig deeper into the Cloud Pro Broker Program, check out our uh, help article. You can talk to our chat team. Um, this is really, uh, in essence, an affiliate program. So you can recruit somebody to help you market your domains. I'm not gonna to dig too deep into this. Um, there's, again, as, as I said, there's some, some other great articles. So those are the preferences that you have. Again, your ability to control your entire um, preferences within the premium domain marketplace. Um, so hopefully that was really, really helpful.